make sure your doctor at least have 90% charge on your Steam Deck before continuing. Head over to desktop mode. I'll be using a mouse and keyboard for ease of use. You must have EmuDeck set up prior to this tutorial. If you don't, please see the link in the description on how to install EmuDeck. We will start with installing the firmware for our RPCS3. Open Firefox. Go to the PS3 update site. See the description for the link. Download the PS3 update. Click over in Firefox. Hit allow download. When finished, the PS3 update file will be saved in the download folder. Open Discover. Type in the search RPCS3 and hit enter. Click on it in the results. Hit launch. Navigate to file, install firmware. Under places in the downloads folder, select ps 3 updatpup and click open. It'll take a while to compile the PPU modules. I sped up the footage here. When finished, delete the firmware file from your downloads. Let's head over to the PC to get some games. Grab a thumb drive, the bigger the better. Select it. Right click and format to NTFS. This will delete everything on your thumb drive, so please make sure to back up anything prior to formatting. Navigate to the games that you want to transfer. I'll show you the two common package types, and later I'll show you one that's not as common. This game is dumped from PSN. You can tell by the file structure. RPCS3 will read this game without any extra steps. I highly recommend the PSN dumps if you can get your hands on them. Next are PKG files. They are accompanied with a wrap file. You can think of the wrap file as a key to unlock the PKG file. What this means is if you install the PKG file and not the wrap file, when launching the game you'll get an error. Navigate to the games that you want on your Steam Deck and copy them. Next, paste them into your thumb drive. Plug the thumb drive into your dock. If you do not have a dock, use a USB-A to a USB-C converter. See description for details. Navigate to the thumb drive you put in. Select everything you would like to transfer. Then right click and hit copy. Head to your default PS3 ROM directory. Mine is in my micro SD card. Under primary, emulation, ROMs, PS3. And then right click and paste. This will take a while. It took me about an hour. Open RPCS3. Click discover, search, Type in RPCS3, hit enter in the results, click RPCS3, and hit launch. I'll first install the PKG file. Click File, Install Packages and Wraps. Locate your PKG. Mine's stored under Primary, Emulation, ROMs, PS3. Select the file and hit Open. You'll be asked, do you want to install this package? Click Yes. It took me about 45 minutes to install this PKG. When you get to the success window, press OK. Next, install the wrap file. Press File, Install Packages and Wraps. Click the wrap file and hit Open. You can delete the PKG and wrap file. You don't need them anymore. To get the PSN games on your game list like I have here, go to File, Add Games, navigate to your PS3 folder, Mine's in Primary, under Emulation, ROMs, and PS3. Click OK. To find out what games are playable in your game list, right click any game and click download compatibility database. I recommend going to RPCS3's compatibility website. Check the games you're wanting to get's compatibility. If the game is marked green for playable, you'll have an overall great experience. If not, don't get it. This will save you a lot of time. See the description for the link. This is the last section before we can play the games in gaming mode. On the desktop, navigate to Emmy Deck and open it. Click on Tools and Stuff, select Steam ROM Manager, and click Yes. After it opens, maximize the window. Look for the specific PS3 parsers and make sure they're ticked to green. This will tell Steam ROM Manager to look for the games in the folders that you put them in, in addition to getting the artwork if it can find them. Now scroll up and hit Preview, and click Generate App List. This will make the games viewable in gaming mode. If done properly, you'll see your games in the PS3 section. Let's check. Go to Filter by Category. Scroll to PlayStation 3 and select it. To view the PKG games, that's under the PS3 filter. After you've checked the games and made sure they're there, click the Save App List button. When the notification in the bottom right disappears, you're finished. Close Steam ROM Manager. Then close MU Deck. We're finished.
double click on return to gaming mode. To view the PS3 games you installed, go to library, collections, PS3. Now load a game. On first load, it'll take a while to cache your shaders. Let's see how RPCS3 handles the gameplay. I'm mostly getting 60 frames a second with drops to 50 here and there. Before I leave you, I have a couple things to tell you additionally to make RPCS3 run a bit smoother for you and how to work with ISO files. Let's jump into RPCS3 in desktop mode. Let's make sure we never get screen tearing. Go to configuration. GPU, and then tick VSync. Hit apply. Next, go to the audio tab. Tick enable time stretching. Click apply and save. This fixed shuttering audio when playing games. Let's talk about patches. Certain games don't run or they don't run well on RPCS3 as specified on the compatibility site. Some smart people may have created a patch for the game that you wanna play. Try Google searching that game with the word patch at the end of it. If the patch exists, it'll show up in the results area. I'm gonna show you where to put that patch file. Open Dolphin. Navigate to the patch file you wanna install. Right click and copy. Under devices, click home. If you can't see this folder, click on the hamburger menu located at the top right of this window. Go all the way down to show hidden files and make sure it's ticked. Let's continue. Deck. Dot var app net.rpcs3.rpcs3 config rpcs3 patches right click and paste the copied patch file here in rpcs3 under your game list right click the game you want to run the patch on click manage game patches if the app asks you to update hit no tick the patch settings you want to enable apply and save and that's it lastly iso game files let's jump over to my pc so i can tell you about it you can identify an iso by the file type it'll be dot iso or under the type category is disk image file i suggest using 7-zip to extract the contents of the file right click and hover over 7-zip and select extract to file name slash after extraction is complete, you'll end up with a folder like before. Go in and check. You can see the file structure is the same as the PSN rips. Just do the same thing. Pull this over to your thumb drive and put it in your PS3 ROMs folder and follow the previous steps to get it in gaming mode. My last tip is ISOs run or the error. If they error, please check my description for an awesome video by a guy that has fixed all the issues with it. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you in the next video.